What do we need? First of all, we need two pieces of paper, a stick for our pinwheel, then I need a pen for outlining, a pair of scissors, some sellotape, a trusty ruler, some glue, a hole punch, and a drawing pin. Now, if you do need help, please do ask an adult to assist you with the drawing pin. Now let's get started. With my card, I need to make two squares. So let's start with a yellow, a nice mash color. To make a square, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna first of all, just fold over this corner. Now this has given me a perfect square, so I'm going to chop off this extra bit. And I've got my square. And now I need to do that with my other piece. Now I have my two squares. And what we're going to do is we're going to glue these together. Cover it with glue. And now stick the white square on top of it, trying to line up the corners. Great. So now I have a square. It's yellow on one side and white on the other. Okay, so next we already should have a fold in it one way. And I need to fold it the other way now. And this will show me where the centre of my square is. Now, we need to make a hole in the centre. The easiest way to do that is we're going to fold it again and then fold it into quarters. I'm going to get my scissors and just snip off a really tiny bit at the end. And now when I open it up, we've got a little hole in the centre. Okay, now we need to make some slits in our paper for the sails. So I'm going to take my ruler and from each corner I'm going to measure 10 centimetres. Okay, that's 10 centimetres. Okay, then we take our scissors Cut up each of those lines. Right, so now we've got our sails. We need to bend them into place. So first of all, I'm going to get my pen. And for each of the sails, I'm going to put a little dot the left hand side. So left hand there, and that's just so I don't get confused for the next stage which is the hole punch. So now where each of the dots are I want to punch a hole. So I'm going to take my hole punch Now I'm going to fold over each of the holes into the centre so that the holes line up. Now I don't want to push down 
the curve too much because we want these flaps to stay up to catch the wind. Now you're going to take your sellotape, we're going to sellotape down each one of these. Okay, so that's the first one. might think it looks a bit of a mess in the middle and so it might be quite nice for us to cover that up so I'm going to take some of the white paper that I cut off earlier and I'm going to use my glue stick as a template I'm just going to draw around that make a nice circle ready to put our pinwheel on its stick. So we're going to be putting this drawing pin through our center so we should just be able to see a little um, sellotape window. So if you very very gently just push your pin through that window you should easily get through. Okay, I'm going to take it back out and put our pinwheel to the side. Now I'm going to get our pencil and I'm going to use some blue tack just to keep our pencil in place because we don't want it to be slipping when we're trying to put our pin in. So if we just choose a place near the top and we just want to push our pin really gently just so it makes a little bit of a dent. And we know that that's where it's going to be push in a bit further and again do ask an adult for help with this. So now we've got our pinwheel, we're going to put up and through and turn over and now slot it into the hole that we have already made. Okay, And you don't have to push it right up against the pencil, you want to have a little bit of room. So the last thing that you could do to alter it is if your sails are actually too long and they're hitting your fingers, you can just cut those off as long as we've still got these bits to catch our breath, the extra points aren't too much of a bother, so we can cut those off. Okay, so now we've finished the pinwheel, the last thing to do is to see how long and how fast we can get it to spin, so take a big deep breath. Okay, now it's your turn. 